Hi y'all, today I'm going to be doing a requested video over my designer shoe collection. Actually the request was to talk about my Christian Louboutin shoes, but I wanted to just go ahead and throw in a couple other designer shoes that I have just to round out my whole collection I guess you could say, just in case anyone is interested in the other shoes as well. Um, now I'm just going to throw out a disclaimer out there, this is not me bragging about the type of stuff that I have. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there because someone did request this from me and I don't think anyone should feel offended by me doing this. Um, and I, I mean, I don't get hate comments anymore. I get people who unsubscribe from me, which is awesome. Esther, this video is for you and for anyone else who is curious about any of the Louboutin shoes that I have or other shoes that I have because obviously they are an investment. Like, So the first pair of Louboutins I'm going to show y'all, it was actually my very first pair. These are the... New Simple Pump in the Kid Leather, and these are in a 37.5. I am normally um, a 37.5 or like a 7.5, and, and so this is true to size. I did have to put little things at the back of my foot just to keep them from sliding out, but anyways, these were, these were my very first pair of babies. They were actually a birthday present for my husband back when, you know, before we got married. Kind of hard to see with my body in the way, but that's it. Now, the story behind these shoes is that I had been wanting a pair of Louboutins for a long time, and I actually never thought I would buy them. I did not want to buy them because, I, I mean, they're really expensive. So anyways, my husband's the one who got it for me, my very first pair. I was not expecting it at all. He just brought me to the mall and was like, you know, for your birthday, I'm going to buy you a pair of designer shoes. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn that down. So, okay. Anyway, so that's how I got these. And I originally wanted the Simple Pump, which is like the regular one. The difference between the new Simple Pump and the Simple Pump, I think, is basically just this platform right here. It's about a half to quarter of an inch platform, at least that's what it looks like to me, and the regular Simple Pump doesn't have a platform. So that was the only difference, and if you have followed my blog, you probably know my story. I originally bought a pair of Simple 85s, which is 85 millimeter. They were too short, in my opinion. I mean, you're getting Louboutins. You need to get something not so, um, I think for your very first pair, you should probably get something that's a little bit higher, you know. Um, just it's a little bit sexier looking. That's just my opinion, so that's why I ended up not wanting those. I returned them and got these instead. So I believe these are $7.95. So the second pair of Louboutins that I'm going to show y'all um, is I'm just going to show y'all right now. Uh, this is the exact same pair of shoes that I just showed you, the New Simple Pump. These are just in a patent leather, in a like nude blush patent leather. And so that's what they look like. They're so pretty. These were actually my wedding shoes. So, anyways, that's what they look like. These ones are also in the 37.5. They are tighter than the kid leather, obviously, is patent leather. So they were more uncomfortable than the kid leather ones. The, the other ones that I have, they're actually pretty comfortable. I mean, given that it's a Louboutin shoe, they... It's known for not being the most comfortable shoes, so uh, anyways, these ones were more tight, didn't give as much, but they're really pretty and I love them. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is my first pair, oh, it looks kind of gross, but whatever, um, I, got the, I got the bottom of the shoe resold so that it's a red bottom instead of it chipping off. That was like the first thing that I did because Nordstrom actually used to do a complimentary I don't know if it's because um, money's tight. I don't know. They don't do that anymore. But anyways, that's why I got this pair redone. Um, I haven't done that to my other pairs of Louboutins. Like my wedding shoes, as you can see, I left it as is. I actually wanted just to go ahead and wear the shoe myself because I believe when they put the red sole on, they have to scrape off the red anyways. So might as well do it myself before they do it. But also, I kind of like it because it's kind of like I can tell that I've worn it and they've been loved. So, anyways, uh, I believe this is also the exact same price, 
And so my last pair of Louboutins, I really don't have that many designer shoes, just throwing that out there. Um, I do have a few and I work hard for my money, so that's why I bought them. Anyways, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, so the last pair of Louboutins that I have are the Decolette and they are in a black patent and they do not have a platform and these ones I also didn't get resold so you can just kind of see I kind of wear them sometimes not that much these ones I actually don't wear very often because they are extremely extremely uncomfortable now what really drew me to the shoe I'm a sucker for silhouettes so just look at that that slope on that shoe I mean it is just like I'm speechless it's so sexy I don't know I'm like really I was just drawn to it because of that I think that is just so beautiful um I kind of just like to look at them which is awful because I think these are like 625 they're really 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 uncomfortable I'm kind of at a point where I'm like I almost kind of want to sell them whether it's on my blog or at a consignment shop or something because I don't wear them enough and I would prefer to buy another pair of like Chanel flats instead of having these but it's just so pretty. I'm still debating it. I don't know. Anyways, so these ones I got in a 38. So I went a half size up because they are, the way that it's sloped, the toe box is itty bitty and just needed a little bit extra space. So it was a tiny bit big again and so that's why I put a little insert at the back of the heel. So I mean, they are really pretty. I just don't know if they're as functional as I would like, so that's the only reason I'm debating not having them. I've had them for about maybe a year and a half, and I've only worn them two times, maybe. Two or three times. That's about it. Now, the next pair of shoes I'm going to show you were my very first like high-end designer shoe purchase. And so these are my Mew Mew, and they are just these platform blush nude heels. I mean, they're just, I love them. I actually bought them off of a consignment shop online. I think it was the consignment shop that is on House of Consignment. So I think it's like E Consignment. I don't remember exactly. I'll have to put the info down there. But I bought them on that site. And so they were gently used. And they were actually in pretty good condition when I got them. I think I bought them for maybe $200. So I was really happy to score them. They're actually pretty comfortable. I do get a little bit like my foot kind of hurts at the towards the end of the night down in the toe box and so that's the only thing but otherwise they're really comfortable you can see it has like a pretty big platform so it kind of helps your foot stabilize more than other other kinds of shoes I guess so I really like the color too it's like a blush pink blush nude so that's really pretty and these are in a 37 and a half so my regular size and then my last pair of, I guess, designer, high-end designer shoes is my Chanel Cap Toe Flats. These are my absolute favorite purchase ever. I really want to buy an all-black pair, but I just can't shell out the money right now. So, anyways, I forgot exactly how much they are. I mean, I think maybe they were $600, something like that. And these are honestly the best flat I've ever tried in my whole entire life. They are just... They are so comfortable and they hug my foot in just the right kind of a way. They make my foot not look fat because I have a wider foot so I feel like my foot kind of like looks big. So they don't do that to me. So I'm just, I'm seriously so in love with these shoes. They are my most favorite designer purchase for my shoes ever. Um, that's why I kind of want to get rid of my decolette shoe just to get a black pair. So anyways. That's what they look like. These are in a 38, and so me sizing up a half size actually helped a lot. They're very comfortable, and yeah, that's basically it. So most of the shoes that I bought, other than the Mew Mew ones, I bought at Nordstrom. I just, I, I shop at Nordstrom too much for my, too much. <laughs> I shouldn't shop there as much as I do, but that's where I buy a lot of my designer shoes, and also it's because I love their customer service. Um, you can I, you can literally try the sh you can try the shoes out and if you don't like them you bring them back even if you wore them and so that's what happened with like the simple 85s I wore them out once I didn't like them I went and got a more expensive pair and they were totally cool with that and that's my blurb I'm not getting paid to talk about Nordstrom obviously so that's 
that is basically my review of my designer shoes. I'm so sorry. I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not used to doing videos still. So I keep looking over here and so if my eyes are like darting back and forth, it's kind of weird. So sorry about that. And so yeah, that is my review of my small designer shoe collection. I hope it was helpful. I mean, if you have any more questions that I didn't hit on, definitely just go ahead and reach out to me. I, I feel like, you know, this community, I'm like, wanting to be I guess a big sister to people like if there's something you have a question on whether it is makeup fashion related life related career related whatever relationship that kind of stuff that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoyed and that's why I keep coming back to YouTube is because I found that community in the very beginning that's why I started and so that's why I keep coming back even though I have like big periods of just disappearing so I hope this video was helpful and I hope it has helped anyone who is out in the market looking for some Louboutins. So I will talk to you all in my next video.